close your eyes, look what you've got here. You've got a body sitting here breathing. You've got a mind thinking and aware. So bring all those things together to make the most out of them. We're born into this world. We don't have much. At that time, it's just this tiny little body. And as it grows, we begin to get a get greater and greater sense of the opportunities that are offered by the world. And it's up to us to make the most of those opportunities, both in terms of what we have inside and what we have outside. As the Buddha said, the best, the best use to those opportunities is to try to put an end to suffering, to stop causing yourself unnecessary suffering and to stop causing unnecessary suffering for others. That's one of the reasons why we're here, trying to train the mind to get it under our control and to see what it's doing. Those two things have to go together. If you don't have some control over it, you're not going to understand your mind at all. And if you don't understand it, you're not going to be able to control it well. So bring it to the breath. Yesterday someone was acting as devil's advocate, and they said, well, if you come to the present moment with an agenda, then your agenda is going to determine what you see and where you're going to go. And that's actually true. It's not, it's not a complaint. They were saying we well, should let the present moment be totally free to hand in any direction at once. In that case, you're giving up your ability to make choices and just letting things take their own course. In other words, through the impact of past karma, you're just going to sit back and try to just be with whatever comes up. But who knows where that's going to go, and there's no guarantee that's going to go to a good place. Whereas the Buddha said, if you train the mind in line with the Eightfold Path, it's going to go to a good place for sure. So we're convinced, both in what he said, convinced by the lineage of people who brought it, that teaching down to us. Otherwise, we'd have to invent the Dharma wheel all on our own. It'd be a long, labor, laborious process. So we're building on the experience of others. so we can make the most of our lives, because they're, they're very short. As the Buddha said, even if you live for a hundred years, it's a very short time. Because when you get to the end of a hundred years, where are those hundred years? They're all gone. It's not like you gather up all these many, many years and have them to sit and admire it at your will, or enter into it any time you wanted to. The years are gone largely by the time most of your memory is gone. You want to have something good to show for this time and you want to make the most of the time that you've got. So as you bring the mind under control, that's a good use of your time. So you understand the mind and have a good sense of where you want it to go and be able to take it there. <laughs>